Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for database management system course regarding week 1 assignment. So let's get into the video without any late. So first question, which level of abstraction describes types of data that are stored in the database? So the answer for first question is option B, logical level. In the logical level, we can get the idea of uh, the, the, which type of data is stored in the database. It, whether it is integer or a string or date etc. So the answer is option B. And coming to the second question. Identify the valid primary key for the relation appear info appear info is the table name here so relation appear info from the given instance so the probable answer could be the option a paper id because by using this one we can uniquely identify each row so the answer is option A. And moving on to the third question. Identify the correct statement. So friends, uh, if you feel any doubts or uh, if you suggest any correction in the answers, please ask in the comment section with valid proof so that our viewers can able to change those answers. Uh, if, if these are or uh, if any mistake is there so please let me know in the comment section these are my probable answers and most of them are correct but if there is any one or two odd uh, errors we can correct that so for third question uh, the probable answer is option a project of p code p name here p code means project code p name represents project name is an instance of relation schema this could be the probable answer. So mark option A. And for fourth question, consider a relation vehicle. VID means vehicle ID, model, speed and color are the super keys. Sorry, uh, these are the attributes and super keys are the below ones. VID, VAD and model, speed color, speed color model. So select the possible candidate keys. So friends, uh, I have found that only one valid candidate key is there that is VID because, because with this we can uniquely identify uh, a vehicle but many cars have same model and same speed also same color. So I think uh, only there is one option that is option A. Moving on to fifth question. Uh, they have given uh, the basic information about the relations. So they gave an algeb relational algebraic expression. So by this, they you want to find what they are asking for. So with this expression we can say that they are asking to find the ISBN of all books with more than 100 pages and are of fiction journal. So option D. And moving on to sixth one. Again a similar thing here. In a reverse case, in the before question, they have given the algebraic expressions and they are asking to find the uh, uh, the query, what they are asking for. But in here, it is vice versa. They have given the question already. They are asking that find the names of all images on page 100. The message can be represented by which of the following expressions. So I got the answer as option D. So this is the probable answer 
I believe. So that is option D. And seventh question, they have given two tables S1 and S2. S1 and S2. So which of the following operations will return S1 itself? So if you see the option B, S2 minus S1. First we have to do this one. S2 minus S1. So what is the unique or uh, in S2 which is not there in S1 that is Tina 9 so this will be the answer of S2 minus S1 so before this we get S1 minus so S1 minus Tina of 9 that means what is the special thing that is not there in the Tina of 9 whole table is special thing right so we will get getting the same table as the final output so they are asking, uh, it will return S1. So option B. So option B is the correct answer. And moving on to 8th question, they are giving two tables. And they are asking, by applying which of the four, uh, expression, we will get this table from this table. So from this big table. By, by applying which of the following algebraic expressions we got this table. So the answer for 8th question is option C, this one. Option C. And moving on to the question. Which will produce the following output? from the above two tables so the answer for ninth question is option d details one details one minus details two union details s2 minus details s1 option d that is fourth option and moving on to the final question that is tenth one which of the following can be a candidate key for the following instance? So the answer, probable answer for 10th question is option A, state name. Because by using only state name, we can uh, get the whole data. It is the unique thing among all these tables, all the columns, because here there are duplicate values for this column and also duplicate values for this column. And also here also, 15,000, the same replicates 15,000. So only unique column in this table is state name. So I am going with state name. That is option A. So friends, these are the solutions for week 1 assignment of DBMS. So if you feel any changes or uh, corrections to be made to these solutions, please uh, comment in the comment section with valid proof for the correct answer. So I think most of the answers are correct. So for further videos on weekly assignments on different courses, once please refer my channel so you can find uh, different course videos. So keep supporting like this. If you have any doubts, comment in the comment section. So I try to give the uh, valid uh, questions, the replies. And like this video and share to your friends. Subscribe our channel. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.